In today's video, I'm going to take you along for my typical Saturday here in Summerlin so you can get a feel for what there is to do here, what the vibe is like in this master plan community, what kind of shops, restaurants, and activities are available so you can decide if Summerlin is a fit for you and your lifestyle and your needs. If you're new here, my name is Olga. I make YouTube videos about living in Las Vegas. I'm also a real estate agent. I've lived in Las Vegas for over 10 years. So if you're thinking about moving to Las Vegas or have any questions about the city or the different communities around Las Vegas, like Summerlin, let me know. I'm gonna put my number right here. Feel free to call me, text me, or send me an email. All of my contact details are also below pinned in the comment. I would be more than happy to connect with you. So let's get into the video and start our day together in Summerlin. Starting the day by going to my favorite True Fusion class, 8 a.m. yoga, no better way to start the weekend. We did it. It was a hot one, but I'm feeling so good to start my Saturday here in beautiful Summerlin. Since this morning's yoga class, I have gone home, showered up, and I came back to downtown Summerlin for the farmer's market that happens here every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. to pick up some fresh produce. I scored some delicious strawberries, which I absolutely love coming to the farmer's market and getting my produce and supporting the local farmers and just getting yummy, delicious fruits and veggies. I go to this yoga class every Saturday. It's at 815 at True Fusion. And I think it's just an amazing way to start my weekend. By nine o'clock, I've worked out and I'm ready to take on the weekend. And I also get to enjoy the downtown Summerlin vibes and start the weekend off right. If you're wondering what downtown Summerlin is, it is an outdoor shopping mall with shops, restaurants. It is definitely not your typical downtown. It is a place where people come to hang out. It is your leisurely lifestyle place where you can come have lunch, you can shop, you can go to the movies, you could catch a baseball game, you could get a workout in, you could grab your coffee. So anything and everything that you would wanna do on a leisurely Saturday or really any day of the week, you could come to Down Summerlin and enjoy all that it offers. There's so many amazing restaurants here. I actually come to downtown Summerlin a lot. Some of my favorite places here are Lynetta, Makers and Finders, which is an awesome breakfast place. There's Mothership Coffee, which we just passed and I might pop in to grab a coffee here in a few minutes. You're not gonna find any courthouses or any official buildings, no high rises, nothing like that. Downtown Summerlin is a very different downtown than most other downtowns. Actually, I think I'm ready for that coffee now. So let's go back and grab an iced coffee at Mothership. I just want to reiterate that downtown Summerlin is truly a one-stop shop. You could spend the whole day here checking up everything off your to-do list. You need to pick up some skincare or makeup that you've run out of. Well, there's a Sephora here. We got the goods at Sephora. If you have a broken iPhone or you just want a new one or you just want to check out the latest Apple products, you got an Apple store here. Want to surprise your husband with a new outfit? Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute, this isn't Lululemon. We found Lululemon. Need help having your kids burn off some energy? Well, there's also a jungle gym here. It is a pretty epic one, as you could tell. The options for stores in downtown Summerlin are truly a collective and there's something for everyone here. Need to furnish your new house with some art? Well, there's an art gallery back there. Need a new closet? Well, California Closets is right here. Need a new face? <laughs> or a little tune-up. 
There's a med spa over here. Need to do some grocery shopping? Well, there's a Trader Joe's here in downtown Summerlin. Let's go. So it's about 100 degrees out right now. It's the middle of the day on a Saturday. So there isn't that many people using the outdoor areas, the grassy areas out here, but they're out here and normally there's people hanging out with their dogs, with their kids. It's just a really great place to take a break and hang out when you want to relax for a little bit and take a break from shopping. So we just spent a couple hours in downtown Summerlin. As you could tell, there is so much to do and so many different stores. I mean, there's so many different stores that I didn't even mention, but there's everything from Northrop Rack, Old Navy, there's West Elm. So there's just a lot here. And I frequent downtown Summerlin a lot for just a variety of different reasons. But now we're gonna move on to a different part of Summerlin. We're actually gonna go have lunch at one of our favorite spots. So let's go and get some food. We're driving to the eastern part of Summerlin to have lunch at a restaurant called Flower Child. But I wanted to mention that there are actually quite a few office buildings in near downtown Summerlin, as well as apartments. And they're pretty new apartments actually. And the whole area is very walkable near downtown Summerlin. So if you're someone who is looking to live somewhere that is fairly central within Summerlin, that has walkability, that is close to shopping, restaurants, grocery stores, I would say that downtown Summerlin is a really great place for that. And there's lots of options for housing, which I think is uh, something that makes downtown Summerlin super cool. So in addition to Trader Joe's, I wanted to mention that there is also a Whole Foods in Summerlin. There's a Sprouts. There's Albertsons. So there's a lot of options for grocery stores, which I know is super important. There's also a lot of CVS's, a lot of Rite Aid's, so a lot of convenience stores all around Summerlin as well. There's also a Smith's, I forgot to mention, and a Home Depot. There's banks, there is everything that you honestly could possibly think of. There's a PetSmart. So they really had convenience in mind when they built Summerlin and that is one of the key selling points for so many people is the level of convenience that you find within this community. Okay, so we just finished up lunch and my day in Summerlin is not just shopping and lunching, I'm actually headed to a new build community in Summerlin that just opened in March. It's called the Monument at Reverence. It's a new townhome community actually. And I'm checking it out for a client of mine from out of town who is coming to visit in a couple of weeks and is interested in looking at new builds. I've actually been here once before and they had just opened. So I'm really excited to see the progress that they have made in this community and also show you guys, it's a Pulte community. And also in this part of Summerlin, there are a ton of new home builders. There is, in addition to Pulte, there is KB Homes, there's Richmond American, and just lots of options just to the right of us. It's all new builds, it's homes, it's townhomes. So there's a lot of options, and I am excited to show you guys this community. So let's go right in. Okay, so there are three floor plans within this townhome community. They have a couple of quick move-in options which means that you can move in in june july august these townhomes are already created or you could reserve a spot somewhere within the community and that typically takes about six months from when you put in your deposit to when you're able to move in i would say six months is probably the standard for a lot of new builds but a lot of new build communities also do offer quick move-in options for anyone who is looking to get into a new home sooner. Okay, let's go check out our first 
floor plan. Come on in. So check out this stunning mountain view that is right outside of this town home. This community is nestled right up against Red Rock. I mean, the views are unbeatable. The Reverence community as a whole is just known for its stunning mountain views and stunning strip views because from some of these townhomes, you are also gonna be able to see the strip because they have a third level open patio. So we're gonna make our way over there, but this is such a notable feature of this new community and why I wanted to come out here and show you guys these new townhomes and also check them out for my client who is looking for something that is on this side of town that is a new build. So the cool thing about new builds is you get to A, customize the finishings of your home. You get to pick and choose what you want the walls to look like, what you want the counters, the cabinets to look like, and a lot of them, actually I think most of the new home builders offer really great interest rate buy downs. For example, this one is offering 4.99 and they're also offering cash or percentage of the total cost towards your closing costs. So if you're interested in new builds, it's actually a really great time to look into them because a lot of them are very competitive as far as their interest rate buy downs and closing costs. So you can save some money during your home buying process and you can get into a brand new home. So it's kind of a win-win. Okay, so this floor plan is 1600 square foot. It's two stories, it's three bedrooms, and it starts in the high 400s. So next we're gonna look at another floor plan that starts in the high 400s. 493 is the starting price. The next floor plan that we're gonna see has a stunning rooftop deck that has strip views and mountain views. So let's go check it out. Okay, get excited for this roof deck because it's pretty epic. Okay, that was so fun. I'm so happy I got to take you guys along for a tour of one of my favorite new home communities here in Summerlin. But that's enough work for today. I'm actually gonna head home to get ready for a night out in Summerlin. Me and my hubby are gonna go grab dinner at one of our favorite Mexican spots inside Red Rock. I'll take you along for that. And we're gonna hit up the Las Vegas ballpark for a little baseball. Okay, so we are back in downtown Summerlin. We are at Red Rock Casino for dinner. We are going to our favorite Mexican restaurant, Leoncito. If you have not tried it, I highly recommend it. Amazing, it's fairly new. I think it opened within the last six months. So we're really loving it here. And just to tell you a little bit about Red Rock Casino, it is a Summerlin locals hangout spot. It is right in the center of Summerlin, nearing downtown Summerlin, and it has restaurants, it has live music venues, it has a movie theater, it even has bowling. So there's so much to do here, and it is definitely a great place if you are living in Summerlin and you don't want to drive to the Strip, you get an amazing casino like Red Rock and you get all of the perks and benefits of that luxury Vegas casino, but you don't have to drive to the Strip. So definitely a local's favorite and I can't wait to go have some dinner and catch a baseball game. I also wanna mention that Red Rock has a live music venue. It is outside, there's also a music venue inside 
Rocks Lounge. It's right behind me. You could see comedy here. You could see your favorite artist. So it also includes all of that type of entertainment here as well. And there's an amazing spa here. So you do not have to drive to the strip for that amazing massage experience either. There's so many amazing restaurants here at Red Rock, including Blue Ribbon Sushi, Yard House, Lotus of Siam. But tonight we're going to Leoncito for Mexican chips and salsa, margaritas. You can't beat that. But definitely so many amazing culinary options here inside Red Rock. So what's so nice about Red Rock is you can walk to downtown Summerlin through this beautiful pathway. It's very walkable over here. Okay, so I got to Summerlin at 8.15 this morning and it's now about 10 p.m. So I've been here for the full day because I wanted to show you guys what a fun day in Summerlin could look like. Of course, I did not cover all of the things that there is to do in Summerlin. There's so much more. And I just really wanted to showcase that Summerlin has so much to offer. And ending the night here at the ballpark just is giving me small town vibes. It's reminding me of my hometown of the Midwest. So it definitely does not feel like we're anywhere near the strip here at this ballpark. There's families here. There's couples on date night here. So there is every single demographic that you could see here. And it's really fun. It's just a really great way to end the day. And if you have any questions about Summerlin or Las Vegas, please reach out to me. I'm going to put my number here again. I'm more than happy to help. And thank you again for being with me for my fun Saturday in Summerlin. And I'll see you in the next one. Whoa.